Because I am a single woman and I don't have a man in my life and I mean I love the way the two of you bounce each things off each other and you've got each other to sort of help along, as a single person, male or female, I share house with Nada. Can we still, it's kind of like being in a relationship because we're sharing a house, if, the, if things trigger us we should be talking to each other, but will that help a intimate relationship in the long run as well? Any emotional work that you do will help an intimate relationship in the long run, definitely. And you're right, um, you know, the fact that you're living with another person is your law of attraction. So obviously there's something for you to learn in that interaction. And if both of you are in the state where you're both working through your emotions, that can be a very powerful interaction in both working through the information. In the end though, you still need to take personal responsibility for your own responses and talk to, you know, in the end the most powerful development that you will ever do is the development you do in your relationship with God. Because as you heal things, see, I keep saying this to everyone, but God's not damaged. So if I'm not feeling love from God right now, it's not because God's not trying to give it. It's because I've got a blockage to receiving it. Does that make sense? And if I heal that blockage to receiving it, I'll instantly at that moment feel the love coming from God. Now God's not damaged in receiving love either. So when I have a feeling of love towards God, God instantly feels that. And I will notice that, so, like, so instead of having this feeling, I'm trying to love someone, I'm trying to love someone, and they're, they're not letting themselves feel loved, you won't feel that with God. So if you're not feeling that God feels you love God, then there's another problem inside of yourself. You know what I mean? And because God's not damaged in giving and receiving love, then if I'm not receiving from God or not giving to God, it's all my own stuff. And that's the beauty of that relationship. If you focus on that relationship first in developing love, what will happen is every other relationship will be greatly assisted by that. But the law of attraction certainly has brought you into a living situation with another woman. So if that's the case, then there's, there's things that as a woman you need to heal that each of you probably have opposites or some kind of sympathetic attraction for that if you work your way through your issues or your annoyances or your different anger you might feel with each other or different things that happen between each other that will certainly go towards healing yourself and healing yourself is one of the biggest things that needs to occur in any relationship with the opposite sex so okay one, one more very quick thing it's a really really good thing yeah. uh, I was banging and thrashing in the garage this morning and I was yelling and I was crying and I was making a lot of noise and we live in suburbia <laughs> yeah. and Nada told me after I finished that within probably a minute and a half of me making that noise the lady across the road rang her and she said Nada are you okay are you alright yeah. And we felt that was a very positive thing. Uh, and for Nada particularly, she felt as though that somebody really, you know, sort of cared about her. And yeah. it made us both feel safe that we can do this without fearing the police turning. <laughs> so that, that, that neighbour obviously did care about you. Because uh, unlike what happened the last weekend, um, the, na the neighbour tried to call you first. I'm sure if they didn't get you, they might have called the police then, maybe. But, but at least they demonstrated love to you. And that's, lo that's fantastic when you feel that coming at you from somebody you, know, you may not have even known very well. And that's a lovely healing type of uh, emotion that you can also receive, certainly.